Hi, this is Tammy. Welcome back. And this is part two of our July scrapbook. So the next step we're going to do is do the layers of paper that go behind the photos. So we're going to add a photo box and manipulate it to the size of the paper strips. And let's see, this first one goes about that big and it is this paper down here well worn too so just drag it in and let it populate and maybe bump it up a little bit and that's good and then we're going to just add a shadow and send it backwards um send it to the back okay and then we'll just go ahead and copy and paste that since it's pretty close to the size we want. And uh, this next one's just a tad bit longer. And once you get it to the right size, delete it and bring in Well Worn 10. That's the next one. Is that the one? Nope, I don't think that's it. There must be another one. Hmm. Well, okay, that's the only one that's that color, so that must have been what I used. It just didn't look right. Okay, so bring it up a little bit and hit OK. Um, okay, and then we're going to move that one back as well. Actually, you know, before I do that, I'm just going to save time and copy and paste it one more time. And we'll do this smaller layer. We'll send them back all at the same time. Let's see, this one goes, is a little bit bigger. Hit the delete keys to take the paper out. And the last one is this one on the bottom, the wood, well-worn eight. Okay, and then go to your layers palette and we'll put all of these behind the photos and that's just about right and then you just maybe want to tilt it a little bit to add a little bit of variety i always like to make sure nothing's straight on my paper just so that it doesn't look too perfect okay the next thing we're going to do is start adding a lot of these stamp brushes so Let's see, let's do our title next, which is, where did I get that from? Life's Moments, which is the number one kit. So we're going to go to Stamps. And, you know, I, what I did on the um, sheet, the instructions I gave you is I tried to tell you if the stamps were under designer kits or just the regular stamps. If you buy a stamp brush, it's just it's a stamp brush. It's on the top. If it's part of a designer kit, it's in the sec second section. So number one is one of those. So go down to number one and open that up. And um, you should be able to find, here we go, life and moments here. And I made that a little bit bigger. And then what I did was I didn't, uh, I, I went to the coloring tool and kind of pumped it up a little bit so I could see it. And the life is white. So go ahead and, and color that. And you can make your brush size maybe a little bit bigger since this is not real intricate coloring here. So we'll do that one white. The and is uh, more mustard. If you hover over, it'll tell you if you're on the right color. So go ahead and do that. And then the moments is uh, Cajun Craze, which is this one right here. Oops, and you can see I got a little bit of my and because I was a little bit sloppy. So we'll just kind of fix that and hit OK. All right, and then I brought that whole thing down to 60%. 
Okay, um, let's do the November stamp. That's from Day in a Life, which is also a designer kit. So let's go up towards the top. And we got Day in a Life. And if you scroll down, you should be able to find November. These are alphabetical. Oh, they're supposed to be. There we go. There's our November. Actually, there must be two. There's a big one and a little one because I, rem I don't remember it being that big. Oh, maybe it is. Okay. Uh, anyway, change the color to white. There we go. And that goes about right there. And I think I actually turned it to be pretty close to what the this paper is on the top uh, and let's see the next thing let me do the little uh, chevron arrows here that's from uh, the number one kit again should have stayed there while I was there go back to number one for a second I want to show you how I did that that was actually from a stamp brush that says uh, return to sender so let's bring that one over here and what I did was I cropped it just to have these little chevrons here because uh, I, I do believe that the chevrons add a little bit of character to a page so I wanted that we'll add We'll make them white. Since they're going the wrong way, I'm just going to hit mirror, bring them up here, make them just a little bit bigger. There we go. And these are at 80%. And you can see that I also put some down here and actually copied it twice. So that's just, we could just go control C, control V, bring them down here, mirror it again make it a little bit smaller and then copy and paste it and uh, once you kind of use your arrow keys and group it together uh, you can bring down the opacity for these bottom ones to what did I do 60% down here I just changed it a little bit okay um and let's see, there's some dots that are underneath this title. And I got that from the Meant to Be designer kit, which is also right here under stamps. And there is a eight inch dots, eight inch dots here. Okay, so just bring that in and uh, go ahead and change the color to white. And because it was too long, I cropped that. I think I cropped about eight dots off of it, something like that. So uh, yeah, that's about right. And then I brought that way down to 30. So I think the rest of this is pretty simple. There's one more stamp up here, the back to school. And then what I did for the text is I added a text box and uh, for example, wrote 2008. This goes on the top and I selected the chalk dust um, font like this one and I don't I don't think I wrote down what the font size was but I want to say it was something like maybe 20 and change the color to Cajun craze put it in the center just kind of makes it a little easier to move it and that's how I did that for up here and uh, for the journaling I just did the same thing but colored it white the rest of this is just pretty much adding stamp brushes and I wrote all the different stamp brushes on my 
uh, list. Um, 